Uh, so I wanted to make a, a quick video. Um, it's really a response to a comment left by YouTube user ZTub6 um, regarding the um, in the style of country swing guitar lesson that I've got up on YouTube right now. Uh, part two, we're talking about combining the major and minor uh, blue shapes to get some bebop types of licks. Um, ZTubs asked six asked if. Uh, to, for me to elaborate a little bit more on on the diminished, um, the diminished triads, the diminished arpeggios uh, that we that I was using in that lesson or example, and um, you know the, what leading into it, you know how do you lead into these types of licks? And uh, I think I know the lick you're talking about, but you know a lot of that was off the cuff. It's just licks off the top of my mind. Um, I'm going to switch over to my guitar, and hopefully you'll be able to um, see me with the lighting. It's cold down south today, and I got all my lights and stuff out in the garage, and I don't want to break all that out. So hopefully you'll be able to see guitar. So I'm going to jump over and um, show you, try to elaborate more on that for you, and, and show you some tricks and tips when it comes to uh, throwing these diminished licks in and, and what's going on. You there. have a couple of different combinations of, of different triads you can use, uh, really built off of diminished types of scales within the major and minor blues when you try, when you compose all those notes together and I don't I don't think we need to go through all of them but uh, the first one is just a, a triad uh, well a diminished triad let me turn up so you can hear me the first one is a diminished triad built off your root note so we're in B flat and I'm sure you are you know the one I'm talking about and then there's another one that can be built off of I guess your flat seven, six to your root note. We can get a low version down here. And that I think is the one you may be, may be talking about. When I'm sliding back from a flat seven to um, to a six, I don't know if you're talking about up high or down low. Typically, a lot of times I'll do this. Something like that. And um, so I'm really just combining those two, two uh, little diminished triads there. Just really, uh, one's just an octave higher. I'm just combining. Of course, you have to phrase it, get it, get it exactly right. Um, so you, you got that those triads there, uh, and I guess that's the one you're. Uh, there may be a been one that was doing down up high somewhere, like like a rock lick. I was thinking, you know, uh, how can you get take a take a standard rock lick. Like a, like a Chuck Berry type of lick. And a lot of people do though. But you can throw a diminished triad in there. And that'll sound pretty cool. Um, I don't want to get too loud. Really the same licks over and over. The thing you gotta be careful about is really overusing these types of licks, and um, so you you have them in there by because you just have you have the notes to make up these triads because diminished triads because you have all these notes from the blues scale that are available to you. Um, but in theory, one thing that how this kind of works, I think, with respect to your ear, is. It has to do with the kind of like a, when you're moving from your four chord, say you go up to a two major, resolve to the five. That's very common in country. You can build a, a diminished triad arpeggio based off your four chord, going back into your your root note. For example, swing with a sting with Brent Mason. He does this and. Now let me switch over to the key of G. So he's in the key of G. And there's a part in there where he goes from the So hopefully you can, you've heard that to get it in your ear. So uh, uh, let me see. So 
Can you hear the change? Can you hear the movement going from the C into that G? So you can do the same thing in, although I'm not using the same exact chord shape, in the chord, the chord progression I was working over in B flat, you might take a lick like takes you outside and then brings you back in your major key. So that diminished arpeggio was built off of this um, arpeggio, uh, well the flat five starting there. And just entering, going back into our blues shapes. Well, I, I'm out, I'm out. So let me play something in the key of B flat. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but hopefully you'll get the idea. I'll sound, I'll use some of these diminished triads, but then I'll use a diminished arpeggio and kind of go out of key there for a second, uh, or it'll sound that way and then sort of resolve back into B flat. Something like that. So, uh, hope you get the idea of that. Thanks for, uh, um, the comment or the question actually uh, hope that'll get other other guys out there to ask more questions like that um, and um, I'd like to elaborate more on it but it's I got people who are going off to bed right now and I don't want me to get too loud but uh, maybe we can talk discuss it more if that doesn't answer your questions and uh, take care